in my thoughts. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watch the cowards get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite sized rappers now sense in my What the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We're jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle Global, which is a change of pace because JP has been getting so much stuff uh, regarding the six-year anniversary, obviously, which is going to be dropping in just two days or about a day now, uh, that Global's been feeling mighty neglected, mighty, mighty left out, just hasn't been nurtured at all recently until now finally super saiyan 4 gogeta one of the best tur's in the entire game okay when you take a look at some of the tur's that have been coming out with the tech transforming gohan with the transforming golden frieza with the super saiyan 4 gogeta with the strength bojack that will be after this you're looking at some of the best tur's in the game okay very 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 crucial characters to pick up so let's take a quick peek at the new stage of the dokkan event me i'm neither goku nor vegeta i'm the one who'll crush you new stage of dokkan event coming soon the ultimate fusion of super saiyan 4 confront the peerless warrior who possesses tremendous power stay tuned for more information on the upcoming new stage note the event unrivaled ultimate fusion will be temporarily unavailable during the following period due to the preparations for the new stage uh starting from the 28th so we'll actually take a look and see when that is and then new stage of story event a new stage that can only be attempted attempt oh wow can't pronounce that word attempted once per day will be added to the story event dragon ball gt 7 Dr shadow shadow dragon saga in the new stage, skill orbs that can be equipped to Shadow Dragon Saga category characters can be obtained on the map or by defeating the bosses. In addition, skill orbs exclusive to the Shadow Dragon Saga category allies can also be obtained by completing the new missions. This is important. This is crucial. Very uh, similarly to the Universe 6 uh, skill orb event with Vados that you want to do that every single day uh you can even use keys to do it just so you can equip your lr kale and califla your tech califla your you know strength kales so whoever it is that you have your keflas right all those characters you can get, essentially get free skill orbs and you don't have to waste the ones that you get from the, the precious ones you get from chain battle and whatnot so this is going to be very very important and uh, so, first off, that just looks gorgeous. But uh, let's jump over onto Dokkan Wiki, and uh, then we'll uh, to actually look at what the Gogeta does, and then we'll head over to dbz.space and take a look at the banner, um, and kind of just give you a quick synopsis on what this character is all about. So this is the Dragon Ball GT Seven Shadow Dragon Saga event. Uh, essentially, it's the one where you can um, Dokkan awaken the Vegeta Junior and easy a him right so if we scroll all the way down uh they're going to be adding stage 13 or level 13 warrior of endless, endless strength and you're going to be able to get training items um which are very good and then skill orbs so this is going to be fantastic cannot wait for this uh if we take a look at the gogeta himself let's head over to super saiyan 4 gogeta this guy is a bad man, all right? He is a very, very bad man. Giant A power, 170%. HP, attack, and defense, 3 key. 170%. Now, you may consider um, using this guy if you want to just bring full Super Saiyan 4 team. If you want to sneak in some crossover characters then you probably want to use the uh zeno vegeto so anyway super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn immense damage pretty solid right that's a good stat boost which is a 50 percent increase to both his super attack and his or, or not his super attack his uh attack and his defense right his passive skill he's got jiren's attack and defense 200 <laughs> percent for a tur it's like yep here's jiren's passive 200 percent attack and defense pretty insane not to mention, for his first eight turns, 
he's going to have an additional 40% attack and defense, and his attacks are effective against all types. So it's similar to Jiren in that regard, except this dude just gets it guaranteed for eight turns. So in Super Battle Road, he is an absolute beast, beast. Not to mention, 50% chance, 50% chance of attacks effective against all types after those eight turns. So he doesn't lose it. He just drops down to a 50% chance and, and 50% chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. That is pretty ridiculous, all right? Absolutely ridiculous. And then last but not least, his active skill, all enemies lose 40% attack and defense, and uh, he gains attack and defense 40%. And uh, yeah, that, <laughs> that, that is quite a doozy there. Um, and then he can do that after he gets hit four times. So again, very similar to Jiren. He's a baby Jiren is really what it is. It, it kind of reminds me of like the tech transforming trunks. Uh, from the Goku Black arc is a baby version of the LRHL Gohan. They both kind of do the same thing, right? Um, so anyway, his links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, GT, Fuse Fighter, and Fierce Battle. The main thing he's missing, obviously, is Saiyan Roar, but what can you do? Uh, categories, Fusion, Shadow Dragon Saga, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, Giant Ape Power. I'll tell you this right now, Kamehameha and Final Trump, part, Trump Card are already godly categories they they really don't need him but he makes it even stronger so this dude is actually insane and then um <clears throat> if we take a look at the banner itself this will change um 100 this is going to change uh if we go ahead and scroll down you have the in gogeta obviously you have this new nova shenron um who is good but you're probably not going to run them unless if you're running a Shadow Dragon Saga. And let's be honest, why would you run that? Uh, Strength Kefla is on here. Physical Piccolo. Uh, the Gobros. The Super Saiyan 4 Full Power uh, Goku. Omega Shenron. And Old School Gogeta. Um, one thing that I do have to note real fast. One thing that I do have to note. Let me just switch over to uh, Global Banners. And we'll go over to the last uh, banner that we had, which was this one which was this one right here, right? Um, Kefla was on it. Kefla was right there on it, right? And then if we go back uh, before that, it would have been the Tanabata banner here, uh, which doesn't really count, honestly, because it's its own thing. This is the banner that I'm looking at. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to do the same thing again, but... If you take a look at this Tanabata banner, uh, for JP, it came out a long time ago, okay? For us, not too long ago. Gobros are on it. Gobros are right here. And the Frieza banner, Kefla, was right there. And this banner has Kefla and the Gobros. So I don't know if they're going to get rid of the Gobros. They may stay. They may stay because it's, I mean, this banner is going to come out in what, February, most likely, uh, February 1st, somewhere around there. And so that's a decent amount of time since, since they've, since this banner has been out, right? This was in December. Uh, this has been, this started in like beginning of December. So that's three months, not, not a huge amount of time, but it's, it's enough. The Kefla though, the Kefla, I don't see it happening. The, the Frieza banner was literally earlier this, the Frieza came out this year. A lot of people don't even realize that Frieza came out in the beginning of January. So 30 days and she's back on a banner. No, I don't think so. So I think Beerus might replace Kefla or AJL Bardock. I think one of those two would show up here. Um, I wouldn't call it much of a shaft if you get more copies of Shenron and Gogeta if you don't have them rainbowed because they will be the first two category leaders to get an easy A. Now, that's not going to happen soon. I'd say we're still like maybe six to 12 months away from that, but you wouldn't mind them getting ready. But really, obviously, Gogeta's the prize. And then whatever they replace with Kefla and then Gobros. Piccolo is also very good. Uh, but I believe I have him rainbowed, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I do need more copies of uh, whatever they replace Kefla with. If they replace it with Beerus, I need more Beerus. If they replace it with Bardock, I need more Bardock. 
uh, and all that stuff. Everybody else I don't need except for GoBro, so, so <clears throat> I will take that. Uh, but that's the banner. That is the announcement. That is what's coming next. If you're ex as excited as I am, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to join me on this journey, there is a blue join button down below. It allows you access into the Boomer Elite. If you want to transcend the heavens and become a Boomer Champion, like Chris Gonzalez, like Wolverine Gaming, you already know what to do. But if you want to do it the free-to-play way, that's fine too. Go ahead and gently rub that sub button, gingerly ring that bell button, lovingly kiss the like button. As always, this is Periodic. See y'all in the next video. Bye.